Hello and welcome to another episode of The Sid Rep. Today we are discussing dementia. What is it? Can you prevent it? How to manage it? and much more. But before I introduce today's guest, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes of the SIDREP. So today's guest is a professor of neurology at Boston University, a lecturer in neurology at Harvard Medical School, and chief of cognitive and behavioral neurology for the VA Boston Healthcare System, Dr. Andrew Budson. Welcome and thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. Let's uh, let's dive into it, shall we? Uh, so, for the audience out there, what what is dementia? So, dementia is when there is a disorder that causes a progressive loss of thinking and memory that ultimately leads to a decline in function. So, it could be Alzheimer's disease. It could be due to strokes, which we call vascular dementia, and it can be due to a variety of other disorders uh, as well. But the general term dementia means some disease, some disorder is interfering with someone's ability to think, to remember, to talk, to do other uh, activities with their brain to the point that it interferes with their day-to-day function. And so with regard to dementia, how many different types or variations of dementia are there? There are uh, maybe a, a half a dozen major types, and then there's probably like another dozen, you know, minor, more rare types. Oh, wow. And so how does someone differentiate between them. I mean, they must be very, very similar symptomatically and what have you. It's one of those things, you know, like if if you are somebody who is a collector of coins, you know, it seems like the coins are all pretty similar. But if you're a coin collector, you know, you can see there's lots of different types of coins minted in different places, you know, done in different years, maybe made of slightly different materials. And, uh, you know, it's the same way with uh, uh, dementia. So I think to the average person, yeah, they do actually seem quite similar. But uh, to somebody who uh, works to diagnose different types of disorders day in and day out, they're actually not that difficult to tell apart. And the other thing, families also notice uh, differences. And anyone who has uh, lived with someone with dementia or cared for someone with dementia, uh, they can tell too about some of the differences. So, so for example, uh, in Alzheimer's disease in general, it tends to start with uh, difficulties with being able to remember recent information. So the person with Alzheimer's might not remember what they were doing yesterday, what they had for dinner, who they were with, and things like that. They might ask the same questions more than once because they don't remember that they asked it before or they don't remember what the answer to the question is. And so that's just one pattern, uh, the pattern of dementia that comes with Alzheimer's disease. And I wanted to start with that one because that is the most common cause of dementia. Hey folks, connecting with your benefits is our primary mission and the SITREP is providing more options than ever. Subscribe to our free email newsletter, subscribe to our audio podcast channel, or subscribe to our content on YouTube. For details and links, check out the description below. 